what's going on guys it's been a long time um doing some things you know sorry it took so long uh my uh camera broke and my old computer was a uh, didn't have the hard drive space anyway to put videos on youtube um but i'm going to make up to you guys i've got my uh best model kit I've ever the best model I've built so far which is one of my large scale ship models right here and I'll show it to you in a good minute and uh, then I'll tell you some of my got this year's goals or hopefully the, these year's goals that I follow through with and uh, we'll see how it goes so let's dive right into it so um, again you've probably seen this model again before it is a um, a kit bash Tamiya kit and uh, it was a model kit I wanted to build for a long time, scratch build, or kit bash, whatever you want to call it, but I consider it scratch build because, you know, there's a lot of mathematical stuff that, that you need to do into it to get it to work, fit right and all that other stuff. But, um, and I'm using my computer for this, so bear with me. The uh, the video quality may may not be that good, and um, the I have to move the computer around and do all this weird stuff, so... Just bear with me. Um, so there she is right there. And I will make this a review model or a review of the uh, uh, Tamiya USS Missouri kiss because this is what it is. Um, this is the old tooling. They, they recently came out with a new tooling, I believe. And um, But this is the old tooling. This was, I built this two or three years ago. But, and here's the thing I had about Tamiya. Here, I'll switch it back towards me so you guys can see me a little bit better, maybe. Um, I have never had a problem with Tamiya kits. Uh, Tamiya kits are nice, intricately de de detailed, sorry, my bad, uh, models. And uh, this is one that I had. I've never had a problem with is the uh, USS Missouri kits and um, a couple years back um, probably six or seven years ago I found out about a cl class of ship that was supposed to be built after the I was which was a Montana class battleship and um, there's a little things that, that are off about this ship about this uh, one because well obviously because I couldn't wa widen the hull because the um, Montana's were supposed to be 127 feet long instead, or wide, my bad, instead of 108 feet wide, but I couldn't widen the hull of the uh, Missouri kit, so that, that's not a big deal with me, though. Um, but anyway, the uh, basic principle of the uh, Montana's was they were essentially a, a heavy, they were basically a super battleship. These guys would have been about the same size as the... Uh, your model class, not not as uh, not as heavily uh, armored. The maximum armor on I think was 23 or 20, 23 to 25 inches somewhere between there. But they were but they were faster and they had more guns than the uh, uh, the Yamatos. Now I'm not ragging on the Yamato. The Yamato class was a good ship. Uh, there's just several serious flaws that the uh, Japanese had with the Yamatos. One was by the end of 19 by the by the time the U.S. was actually brought into the war, um, our radar systems could not be matched, and radar systems, our gunnery systems, could not be matched anywhere in the world. N not even the Nazis or the British could uh, lay claim to the best uh, or radar and gun range finding equipment but um, here I'll see if I can't get some close-ups of this model kit hope the uh, screen doesn't close on me but as you can see um, I did a uh, Timia versus Trumpeter review or not review but Trump versus uh, Tamiya, and as you can see, you can see the difference in size between the Tamiya 
40 millimeter bolfers and the uh, trumpeter 40 millimeter bolfers. I like the Tamiya. If I if I had a choice, I would fit all my uh, 40 millimeter bolfers, all my model kits with 40 millimeter bolfers like these from Tamiya, because there's so much more to scale than the um, the uh, trumpeter uh, models. And I always liked that about Tamiya. That's one of the things that sold me about Tamiya and decided to make me want like Tamiya more than Trumpeter. Now Trumpeter is a good model maker. They have a wider range of uh, ships to choose from. But uh, Tamiya had, this, had the correct scale. They're, uh, they're, they're more to scale than um, Trumpeter was. Trumpeter is still a good model, model company. Well, anyway, you, as you can see, there is a lot of small detail in the in the ship. Ooh, that's a little. I'm not gonna touch that. But you you got little gun directors everywhere. You've got search lights. This kit, I can't remember exactly what this kit comes with, but the uh, basic specifications of the kit. Once it's built, it's supposed to be about seven or eight, seven to eight inches high, somewhere between there. Depends on what kind of radar system you put out here at the top. Because certain I always had different radar setups, and um, you can also get aftermarket here. I'll slide this up real quick. Aftermarket uh, pieces, and which you can convert this from uh, Missouri to Iowa. And Iowa actually had a uh, different, and up until about 45, Iowa had a different, totally different superstructure than the uh, not superstructure, but bridge. Bridge, my, I might, my, my, my bad. I'm a uh, little tired today, but the uh, Iowa had a different bridge than the Missouri or the New Jersey or the Wisconsin for the longest time, and uh, this is what the Missouri, the Missouri, the Wisconsin, and New Jersey had. The, uh, the Iowa didn't have that until late '44, early '45, something like that, and uh, you can get a, you can get a extension part or a uh, aftermarket part for that and it's really cool it actually I, I think it looks really cool but um, and the model is supposed to be my model right here is 34 inches because I had to actually add on an extra four inches for this second rear or the second rear turret because the uh, the Iowa's only have three turrets the uh, Montana's would have had four so I had to add on an extra four inches so this is actually a 34 inch model kit right here but the uh, the Iowa's the the uh, Tamiya USS Missouri trumper kit or not trumper kit my bad oh my god I'm so out of it today bear with me guys but the uh, Tamiya USS Missouri kit 1 350 scale is about 30 inches and um, it's a really good kit um, I think you can get the uh, old tooling version for like 75 bucks now, which is really cheap in, compared to when I first got my uh, Tamiya kit, my first uh, trumpeter Tim or Trump. Uh, God, jeez, man, uh, my first USS Missouri kit. When I first got my US USS Missouri kit, I was I think 11 or 12, and it cost. A hundred and eight dollars. That was for that was also for shipping. That that includes shipping. So it was like a hundred bucks. Now these things are dramatically dropped in price. They're seventy they're seventy bucks, seventy five bucks. You can get some places you can get a mess for sixty nine bucks. And shipping and handling is usually gonna cost about nine 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 eight dollars depending on where you get it from. But um anyway Cool, cool features on this. There, there's uh, some cool features and cool uh, aftermarket parts you can get. You can get gold medal parts for this thing, and uh, that's really cool. Uh, so you get, can you get like little re more realistic guns for it? Um, another thing is you can get metal barrels, and I don't have the money. Of course, I didn't have the money to get metal barrels or no. Nor do I, uh, nor do I know how to fix them to the ship, so I just stuck with the plastic, the plastic uh, 
barrels, which actually do a pretty nice job. They look pretty cool. And um, you can paint these. You can. They have a cool thing about the instructions. They have a cool color guide to if you want to do 44 or 45. Um, that's really cool. You can uh, get up here on the bow. You can actually get like chain, aftermarket chain, and you can get aftermarket anchors, which are and the anchors are actually made of real metal, which are cool. And uh, this is actually look. This is actually not like this on the uh, I was. The, uh, this was put on here. I put this on here because that, and on the Montana's, that's where another 40 millimeter bulfer went. Uh, instead, there would be a uh, a battery of 20 millimeters right here. There would have been two of these up here on this uh, on the bow on the very top bow. But overall, uh, you got plenty of separately applied details. These are all there's a lot of separately applied, of course, because it's a model. And you got like uh, these cleats right here. You got these uh, capstans. And you got more capstans that are separately applied. You got all the all the a lot of the stuff on the turret is separately applied. Here I'll get a better vantage. But I'll turn it up for a little bit and I'll show you some of the separately applied details on the um, on the turret. See uh, these life rafts right here are separately applied as long as well as the uh, range finders. And these uh, range finders right these aren't range finders my bad but these are uh, sighting scopes. As long, along with this, uh, nope, you can't see it. Along with this and that and that little piece right th in there, that's a gun director. Yeah, these are all, those are a lot of separately applied pieces. Um, I can't remember the uh, exact again. I can't remember the exact piece count in the model, but I put it took this took me a full month to put together, and. Um, I'll show you the inside and how I actually, uh, you know, and you can uh, motorize these things, which is really cool. Um, this whole entire in internal area right here, you can uh, you can um, motorize. You can put like a little battery pack here, and then you can put your motors right back in here. And you got remote control systems and all this other cool stuff, and the uh, back props right here the props right here you can actually you can make the rudders move and all this other stuff and the props are really cool too they're pretty realistic to what the um, real ship looks like this is pretty spot on they're uh, pretty spot on with the uh, whole entire kit uh, I haven't checked to see what's not to scale I'm pretty sure it's only off by like a few scale inches but that's not not a big deal. Um, so what I did here is you can see that there's a peat. These are these are two separate holes. And what I did was I cut one one hole. Like I cut this piece right here, this front bow right here. I cut longer than the other, and I cut this piece right here, this part of the bow or the stern longer. And what, then I then I put took, took another piece just to make sure it was long enough or to because it was too short. I also cut that piece and put it in there. And then I secured it with these uh, plastic tabs right here, as you can see. And I sealed it off with uh, pla uh, model putty. And uh, it's watertight, nice. And well, now eventually, I, I think I will put an uh, RC system in this. I'm not sure yet. And um, so if you want to get... Um, I haven't gotten the new tooling yet but as far as this model goes I highly recommend getting it it's an awesome model kit it's fairly priced depending on which one you get uh, I always have I've built uh, three of these now this is my third one this is my third kit um, just give you a little general look around you know it looks really cool from the bow too
And you got you get uh, nice decals. I don't know if you can see them, but there they are. They give you set. They give you decals to apply everywhere. And uh, I haven't had any problems with it. I haven't had to remove any flash from the pieces. I hadn't had. I didn't have to modify the pieces so they would fit properly. And uh, why not? So let's talk a little bit about the price and all that other stuff. Um, so like I said, you can get the you can get the old tooling for like 75 bucks, which is pretty cheap. They had they came out with a new tooling. It costs about 115, which is not too bad compared to what the chumper kits were co we, uh, cost back when they came out, which was 140 bucks, which was pretty expensive. Um, and the they also came out with a a new tooling for the New Jersey, which is pretty cool. Uh, I got the old New Jersey, the old tooling. I'll do a review of that some other time. Uh, they ha they also came out with a uh, modernized version of the USS Missouri, which is cool because there's a difference between the New Jersey and the out the other Iowas in their br in the British concept, concept uh, or uh, conning tower concept, my bad. And uh, it should be really fun. That should be really fun. I'll, I'll, I hope to get it. And uh, so let me talk about some of my. That's $115 as well. So I'm going to talk about a little bit more about my goals now. Um, the biggest goal I have this year is to get a uh, 1 200 scale uh, model kit of the USS Missouri. Uh, just came out. Uh, it's a trumpeter kit. And I've looked at pictures of the uh, the pe I looked at the pieces on the trees and whatnot, and I've seen everything that they have on it, and um, seen the hull and all this other stuff. And I really, really, I really hope I can get it. Um, it's not too it's not too expensive. Uh, if you go to uh, through a good dealer, you can get it for like three hundred bucks, but you they usually cost about. Uh, 600 that's what they have them priced at but if you go to a good dealer you can get them like for 300 bucks or 320 or 400 bucks depending on where you go and um, I I hope to really get that model it's over 56 inches long and uh, the pieces are on it are just awesome they have a they have the best detailing so far I've seen a lot of gold metal parts to go with it they don't have um, what Trumper did was they, instead of uh, making plastic bl blast shields for the uh, 20 millimeters, they actually made uh, gold metal parts that actually come with the kit, which you will, that which come with the kit, you don't have to buy them separately. And they also, they did uh, make a separate package for the um, gun barrels and the props, which look pretty cool. I, I think I might get them. That's like, that's like 30 bucks. Not too bad. Uh, but I, I really hope to get that. Um, I got more model kit reviews. I've I've been uh, doing mostly car models lately because I don't have a lot of money right now. Um, and car models are cheap and they're easy easy to build and they look cool after they're done. Um, and I hope to get that pretty soon. I, I hope to get some videos up of that. Uh, I've done a couple truck models. And... Um, a few small scale ship models, but I gave most of those away. Um, but I hope to do more videos and whatnot since I got my new computer now and all this other cool stuff. So I will talk to you guys later. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Share it on Facebook, whatever. By the way, Facebook page. I have a Facebook page. You can like my Facebook page at USS Johnson One, Facebook. Uh, I think that's everything. So you guys have a good evening, good day, whatever you're doing there, having good fun, you know, and I'll see you guys later.